What's going on, y'all? Welcome to episode 27. We start this episode once again from the calendar screen because we have to play a UCL matchup against Ajax. First, we need to train so that we can get in that starting lineup. That's important to me. Very nice. We are in it. Starting lineup. Starting 11. Let's do this thing. Ajax, UCL, group stage. But there's a twist. We are actually going to send this one. Even though I just clicked on it to play it. Because we are going to be playing them once again on the 4th. So... We are going to send this one and try to make up for whatever the result in the next match. We beat them three to one. That's great news. That's really good news. Um, let's come over. Let's play our cup match, even though it's against Brighton. Carabao Cup. Oh, and we lost one to nothing. I don't want to see what that does to our morale. Nice back in the starting 11. I do wonder if we played that game or not. I feel like we might have not played that game. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves over to our Ajax UCL match. And then, I think you could tell uh, by me switching to this screen now, you can see why I want to uh, send that one game. So we will have one game to play Manchester United, and, uh, and then we can choose between, our, but just by how this game goes, we can choose between playing Leipzig again or Liverpool. And then after that, we have Everton, Arsenal. We have a good, a big... Uh, December coming up. So I think we're going to take it pretty easy on these. But let's do this uh, matchup. We're coming in in the 60th minute. I don't think that's how we want that to go. It is interesting that you can do this, though. You can come back. Get back in the starting 11 and play the match. Even though it's already showed us what the 60th minute looked like. A little cheap. Hashtag cheap in the comments. Uh, two minutes and forty, two minutes and fifty-one seconds into this episode, and uh, we're already playing a game, y'all. That's that's the kind of movement we're looking for here. Loud, proud, loyal. This is our team, our city. That's right. Nice cutback. Vargas, can he get the shot off? No, it's going to be deflected off the defender. De Bruyne, De Bruyne needs me, needs me, but he doesn't have me. Vargas trying to get straight back, help out on defense. Oh, and they rip one. Ajax picks up the first yellow card of the game. Sadly, I don't know the players well enough to know who... Oh, Carrizo. Man, I gave myself away. I could have just said Carrizo and, and acted like I knew it all along. Oh, a nice little touch from Vargas. Vargas able to play Holland in, but Holland can return the favor. Oh, and he... Holland, you know, on this game, maybe not in real life, is kind of his passing is kind of rough. A lot of times whenever there's an opportunity for me to get the ball back, he doesn't do it. Foden, looks like Foden's going to be played in here. Can he finish it? He finishes it. We get a, a tally on our assist total. A Pedri. That's Pedri, not uh, Foden. Interesting. I forgot. I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't remember that we had Pedri. We had a couple guys move to the Premier League from Barcelona. Interestingly. I'm still surprised Colo is over at Arsenal. I don't know why that surprises me, but it does. Oh, and 
Ajax is trying to knock on the door here. They are knocking on the door. They're trying to bust it down. Make up for that three to one result in the last matchup in which I simmed, to be fair. And now we play them, this time at home. Oh, and oh, that's gotta be a foul ref. Are you kidding me? That dude just like jumped over me, and landed on top of me. Nice, Vargas through. Can he add to his goal tally? He's gonna add to his shot block tally, I guess. Oh man, that was so close. We needed it, wanted it. We could taste it, and it goes awry. Oh, Vargas taking a nifty little shot there, but definitely probably should have passed first. Play it over here. Play it over here. What are you doing? Every time I press the uh, the the request ball button, he would freeze. He would say no, basically. That was really odd. Vargas. Oh, De Bruyne was making a great little run there. With a few right touches, we could have been on goal. But the first match of this episode going really well so far. Manchester City versus Ajax. 45 minutes played. 45 minutes to go. And the second half is underway right now. Can we get a good pass from Holland? No, we got a really bad pass from Pedri. Now, to be fair, it was a bad call for a pass as well. So it wasn't all his fault. Nice tackle. Unable to get back up and make a second one, though, even though it was within reach. Oh, and we could have intercepted that. We could have uh, intercepted the interception, I guess, is what that was going to be. Vargas. Vargas just using his speed to get around most of the defense. And he plays the ball and puts it to the back of the net. His best friend, the net. Uh, here's a ball for you from Vargas. Amen. Thank the soccer gods. All that uh, putting us on the prayer list at church has helped tremendously. Just finds finds a hole, puts the ball there, chases it down, beats his men, and then beats the goalie. Grilich, Carrizo, yellow carded man. From Ajax. Bad ball from Ajax. Kind of breaking down now. Just a little bit. And Vargas with another opportunity. And he makes it three goals in the UCL so far. An 8.7 rating now. I believe that's an assist in two goals. On the game. We'll see when we get to the ending screen here. But definitely. Coach is definitely happy that he put us in the starting lineup instead of subbing us. And Vargas goes for the hat trick and he's made it so he could have had a brace of assists but instead he takes the hat trick and I think I would do the same thing. I guess I kind of did do it but you know I think we all would have done the same thing maybe would be the better statement there. Four to nothing, Vargas in the 66th, the 63rd, and the 57th minute. All back to back, all almost evenly spaced out. Just air off there. Oh, and Vargas calls for that pass errantly. Need to be careful and protect this 9.0 rating. This is a great way to find ourselves in the starting lineup uh, regularly. Weekly. In the beginning of the club legend of Vargas. 
Last name, first name, Obed. Ref, that was a little rough. Come on. The ref in this game kind of sucks. Well, I know it's not. It's actually the animations or whatever. Because the ref is right. Oh, see, that's like kind of a rough little uh, bump. It's like head to head, you know? You can imagine how I am when I'm watching a real soccer game. If I'm complaining about the, 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 the refs in FIFA, which are perfect, you know? Oh, Vargas trying to make another little run there. He just keeps running into the defense over and over and over and over. Trying to see if he could poke his head through there for another one for a fifth, uh, fourth for him. Play to him in space. Uh, it's four to nothing, full time. And uh, we had we had a blast in that episode, or in that game, uh, the first game of the episode, by the way. Nine point oh, one assist, three goals. A legendary performance from Obed Vargas. And uh, back to reality. Let's see, we don't have any training to do. We have Leicester City coming up. It does look like we are going to... Not just friendlies against Austria and England. We might have to play against England. That would be interesting. I do believe. So let's real quick, let's sim this this way so that we can keep an eye on it. We are starting. We are in the starting lineup. Center defensive mid. And we score two goals in the game. Wow, wow, wow. Great game. 10.0 rating from Obed Vargas. Exactly what we want to be seeing on our simming. Training. All A's as usual. And we're getting really close, I think, to being able to get that rate hike. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe we can't. That's okay. Standings. Ah, oh, international friendly. There are standings. All right, I think we're going to not be in the starting lineup here. Nope. Robinson uh, Vargas, I'm sorry, coming on in the 55th minute. Um, I'm going to jump to the result of that one. See how we did. Vargas a 6.2 rating. Probably what we really would have done if we played it. That's rough coming on, coming on the field at that time. Haven't not started much with these guys. Around the wheel. I hate we have to set these up every time if we're going to train on the national team. You would think that we could have some presets just for the national team and or just use our presets from other other stuff, you know, other stuff. I don't know. Oh, we're so close. It's going to take the shot. It's going to be the shot power and the short pass, ball control and dribbling that are going to set us over the top here and become a 94 overall. We might win best player in the world. All right, we are not going to be playing at all in this game, which is insanity. You're starting Buzio over us, and of course we're going to lose. That's crazy. Okay. Manchester United it is. That's the game I really wanted to play anyway. Manchester United, we are in the starting lineup. And uh, let's do this thing. I'm really pumped up. Manchester United was the first Premier League team I ever got into. I've never like properly had a Premier League team. I had, uh, when I was a kid, I would watch Arsenal some with my brother. And then I had a coach who played for Liverpool, so I was a Liverpool fan for a while. And then, 
and then when I got to college, I had a buddy, rest in peace, that, um, like Manchester United, he would make me watch Manchester United all the time. Every time we played FIFA together, it was Manchester United. Manchester United scores first, opens the scoring, Ahmad. But it was just all Manchester United all the time. And then uh, now I have a buddy, and my brother has always liked Arsenal. But now I have another buddy who likes Arsenal. Um, and you know, just all those are pretty good choices. But I did, I did have some, you know, fandom for Chelsea with Pulisic playing for them. Uh, I followed Leeds. I was hoping that they would do something cool. And then I also, you know, spent a little bit of time watching Fulham. You know, due to the American uh, draws there, just like watching my boys play, uh, the U.S. Men's National Team guys play, and. Yeah, that's basically the only reason I've, 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 I've liked any team ever from the Premier League. I mean, other than the quality of soccer just being outstanding. So I don't know, like, who my Premier League team is, but I do like Manchester United a whole lot. Do me a favor, hop in the comments and let me know who's your favorite soccer team, like, in general. I want to try to get, like, a... Uh, lay of the land of you know who my subscribers uh, or followers or watchers whoever you are who are you into man Pedri Pedri has to put that past the goalkeeper Manchester City standing over the corner Vargas is hoping to get this oh ref come on now call that Vargas trying to get the shot off unable to might get this one off though. No, it's once again blocked by the Arsenal back line. Now Vargas tries to recover to get on defense. Cover the top of this box, and it was well worth it. Oh no, he plays the ball back inside. Obed Vargas, what are you doing? Tries to play that one long for Foden, it looks like. Though it may be Pedri. I get those confused. Now Pedri's back in the midfield. Manchester United so far looking like the better team, as the scoreline might suggest. Phil Foden, or uh, I'm sorry, Pedri, struggling to keep that one up halftime at Manchester City in the Premier League, one to nothing. Can we do something to turn this game around? And if we can't, what are we good for? To be the best player in the world, you have to rise up in these moments. That's exactly what we want to do. Oh, what a wonderful little bit of skill. Can he get the shot off? And he does. He rips it, but the goalie is able to get his hands right on it. Kind of came right at him. But, man, the power on that shot. Wicked. Maybe get another one off here. Oh, and we put one on goal once again, on frame, but the goalie is again able to push it to the side. And we forced the goalie to make another save. Not Vargas specifically, but the team. And uh, now they're coming back the other direction. For only a moment, though. Oh, Vargas tries to turn it around and square up at the goal. And I think number 23 there for 25 for Manchester United is able to steal the ball, but Vargas right back on top of it. Oh, Vargas trying to find Holland through. We're trying everything we can to tie this game up. Oh, Vargas just not smooth enough to turn the ball back around the other side of that defender. 
a lot of falling down right now for Obed Vargas. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a Manchester City goal and it does not. Oh, come on, ref. That's rough. Ref, rough, rough ref. Something like that. Man, this is a lot more physical league than what we've been used to, and Arsenal makes it two to nothing. 74th minute and 33rd second is a moment of despair for us. It is rough to see that go down as it just did. I'm going to pull my hair out. Can we at least get one back? Can we get one goal back? Man, we just absolutely bodied off the ball right there. Nice. Good move. Man, our guys up top just can't play through balls. Like they played it at me. But the issue, like I'm asking for a through ball because there's somebody there. You know, I want them to play it out in front of me. But they're not. I don't understand. They're world class guys. So I don't want to like say it's them because. Can we get a shot off from distance? Oh, it didn't look like it was past the goalkeeper's tip. The tip of the goal fingers. Uh, yeah, the tip of the goal fingers. Fingers. The uh, tip of the goalkeeper's fingers. Absolutely butchered. I was planning on doing like, like two or three episodes, filming two or three episodes today. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I do not think I'm going to be able to. I think it's going to be my last episode. I'm just not talking right today, y'all. Oh, goalkeeper, that was to you, my friend. You can't let that go out for a corner. Never. That's always a bad idea. It's never a good, never the right decision. Got to check to that one. Man, the ref is letting this go on forever. What are you doing, ref? In four minutes, it's like six minutes over. That is the game, and it's disappointment. And we, we were definitely the best player on our team, 7.1 rating. 80% tackle success rate, dribble success rate, 50, 65%. 26 dribbles, wow. Pass accuracy has definitely gone up. All right. So we got one more game to play. It's either going to be against RB Leipzig or Liverpool, I believe. And I don't know that we're, I don't know that we're ready for Liverpool, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, we have won every game in this though. So let's go ahead and sim RB Leipzig. Oh, and RB Leipzig takes the win. How did that happen? How, oh, how could that have ever happened to us? Vargas with a 5.8 rating. Wow. Absolutely horrible. We need to go to training. We need like 10, 10 training sessions. Oh, we're so close. So close to a 94 overall. Just a couple of those that hit. Now, real quick. While just to buy me time to think about what we're gonna do, because I'm honestly not sure <laughs> what we're gonna play next. It's either Liverpool, or we can go play a game that's gonna be a little bit easier and save uh, the Liverpool match for later. Now here's what I think we're gonna do. We are going to, if it's a home Liverpool match, we're gonna play it. If it's not a home Liverpool match, we're gonna skip it and we're gonna crush Everton with a smile on our faces. Just the biggest Everton crushing you've ever seen. So let's go do that. The rest of those, the money will be sitting there, right? I hope.
Liverpool away, so we are going to be simming this. Vargas looking pretty good. And Vargas scores the game winner. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. De Bruyne put one in in the 14th. And Salah responds in the 40th. Vargas gets a yellow card in the 44th. Halftime, 1-1. to Vargas on a yellow, tied 1-1. to Holland slots one early. And then two minutes later, Gakpo puts one in the back of the net. And then Vargas waits until the 86th minute. Only four minutes left in the game to put one in the back of the net and make it 3-2. to two. Safe to say Vargas had a great game. 8.0 overall rating. That's what I like to see. That's a great, great game. Even just... that's a That was a great sim. You know? Let's go do a little training and then crush Everton. And we're going to be a 94 overall, you guys. We made it. I mean, we're going to keep going. We're going to be the highest rated player of all time. Vargas is. <laughs> for sure. Victory in the Derby. Praise the teammates. Good job. All right, now we're going to go back and we're going to play Everton. i uh, really pumped up about this one. One last game of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, by the way. We're up to, like, the day I'm filming this, which is probably a long time ago, so you probably look at the subscriber count and see something very, very different. And But... We are at 67 subscribers. I was just making an episode the other day thanking you guys for getting me to 50. And here I am at 67. Can we slot it? Oh my gosh, for offsides. All right. But yeah, we're up to like 67 subscribers, and I'm really thankful for you guys doing that. Like I said, uh, at the end of last episode or at the beginning of this episode one I mentioned oh no an injury Vargas looks like he might be injured but I mentioned uh, that you guys have said some really kind things to me in the comments I appreciate that keep that going you know I feel like you don't see that much you see a lot of especially in the gaming world super negative you know like people just tearing each other apart picking on each other that's fine. Like, I can, I, I can get down with that. I can get down with some picking on. You know, it's just the, it's part of the culture. But I think it's really cool, you guys, uh, saying some kind things uh, as well. It makes me feel really good. I just wanted you guys to know that because, you know, people like to tell people when they feel bad, but they don't often tell people what's what's good. So, yeah. Oof. But my passing, that is bad. You're welcome to tear it apart in the comments if you'd like to. Awesome. But I hope you guys are going on... You know, I'm sure you are if you are doing stuff here, but I hope you guys are going on other people's channels and saying nice stuff too. You know? Make the YouTube community even better than it already is. I'm going to cut this one back. Oh, and I get stuffed by the Everton defense. Man, I'm just really not... I'm really not playing this game like I want to come out here and crush it. I'm playing this game like I'm way better than them, but I'm not. I'm really not, you know. Premier League's tough. It's good all up and down the board. Although, I am going to take this one like I'm better than everybody else because I am. Put it in the back of the net. No! Dang it. That's much better. Okay, let's pass this thing around. Good pass. Oh, and we put it in the back of the net. The second we get our perspective right is the second that we do something good. It's not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. Brilliant pass. Spreads out the defense just enough to get the ball back. And then, wow, easily could have gone off the crossbar and back into play. And we could, we could be back defending on the other side right now. Right out of the goalie's reach. Hits the bottom of the crossbar dives toward the ground 
Six goals in 13 matches. We've got to do better than that, I think, if we are going to get the record. If I'm not mistaken, the record's like 50 or something, right? Something crazy. One from distance. Oh, and that was always going to be going in the stands. Vargas sitting on a 7.1 rating right now. Oh, Vargas, that's not going to help. Oh, what a wonderful turn, and Everton has tied it up. Wow, wow. Tyler Anyango, dangerous, absolutely dangerous little play there, and it is halftime. Holland and the boys are tied with Everton. Did that guy have braces on? Not that it matters, but I was just curious. Oh, we always take the wrong direction there. So we gotta slow it down a little bit, pass it. Didn't seem like they were giving me space on that one though. Like that, a lot of space. Oh, Holland is not gonna get there. It's a little bit of a shoulder bump, slows him down. Aguado plays it to our keeper. Oh, Balogun is playing for Everton. No way, that would be, that would actually be awesome to see. And probably somewhat accurate. Wow, we're playing against Balogun right now. Just talking about him. Oh, and Balogun gets a shot off. I wonder if he was the one. No, he was not the one who scored. It was Aguado. No, maybe it wasn't. I'm gonna remember it was. Oh, and they get another shot on frame. Our goal is able to uh, collect that though. We just are splitting the defense right now over and over and over. Or the midfield, I'm sorry. Oh, and then they take the ball away. Number five, Zabuela. Zubuela. How it was spelled. Balogun on the ball. I don't like that. I have to start keeping track of that when we play Everton. Can we get the shot off it? We do. It's saved by the goalkeeper. A wonderful shot, though. And the man on our left shoulder able to push through and uh, get a quality shot off there. Oh, and Holland's going to make it 2-1. to one. Not exactly what we were looking for for this game. But uh, Holland rises above the rest once again to make it 2-4. to four. In the weaning moments of this episode, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of this. Hopefully you guys have been watching some real Obed Vargas. He's playing pretty well. He's still playing for the Seattle Sounders. And uh, Oh, look at that. Obed Vargas plays a wonderful ball through. Can we slot it in the back of the net? No, it looks like that was a handball, though. Number 16. In blue. Oh, Foden lets it go right by him. And we don't check in the middle. Gabby. Oh, Gabby trying to tie it up once again. 2 to 1, 88th minute. Holland coming off. Our friend Balligan over on the other side. Even though he, I, I think in this he doesn't know he's our friend. Because he was probably still uh, English national team material at that time. 
just not able to like cut it back quick enough. I think it's because I'm holding, I'm letting my sprint off a little bit too late. Vargas, Holland, and Anyango put goals in the back of the net, and we are going to take the win on this one. Great for our Premier League title hopes. Y'all, my name's Jono. Thank you so much for watching episode 27 of the Obed Vargas Career Mode. And I will see you very soon. Make sure you're checking out these uh, uh, the Miami Career Mode. And also, if you if you see one that's not didn't say episode one on it, and it's your first episode you're watching of a series, I got playlists on my channel. Go to the playlists, find the series you want to watch, watch it from the get go. Uh, as long as you don't, uh, you know, it's like Netflix. So if, if if one of your buddies is using your YouTube account and gets to episode five, it's going to show that you're on episode five. So make sure you're aware of that. I don't know how many times I've started stuff in the middle of a season, but I've only watched the season before. You guys have a good one. Peace out. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to wait till another day to make more episodes so they don't suck. Love you guys. See you. Peace. Thanks.